Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have the book of Once Upon a Time. I figured this wasn't a movie, it was incorrectly labeled for me. Uh, it's actually a series of shorts. Uh, basically, uh, an Australian actress and uh, playwright, uh, Kate Mulvaney. Uh, if you're from Australia, you probably know who she is. Uh, she is very enthusiastically tells stories. Uh, this is a Disney Junior series. Uh, so it's basically focused towards little, little kids. Uh, it tells, basically just grabs stories from different movies and, and things uh, in the Disney library and tells them a sort of a very abbreviated version of uh, certain adventures that either we've already seen in film, like Tangled, or with, with some of the more crazy plot elements taken out. And uh, the, or we have something like uh, maybe a, a spin-off story from Frozen, which is the very first one, and they range from like three to seven minutes long each. Uh, I watched three episodes. Uh, the first one was Frozen. Anna and Elsa are getting ready for a party, and they meet a reindeer and help it, and that's as intense as it gets. And uh, you know they got to make sure they're back in time for the party, and they have good food, and Olaf's there too. Second one was a very short one. It was a three-minute one, with uh, Timon and Pumbaa with Simba, all eating bugs. And all it is is really Kate going talking about all the different types of bugs they would find. There's jumping ones. There's swimming ones. There's just just all sorts of. I mean, if I tell you all of them, you don't have one, you won't want to watch it. Uh, <laughs> and this third one that I watched was basically the story of Tangled. Uh, you know, Rapunzel's kept in the tower. Flynn shows up. Uh, she escapes, she sees a town, sees, sees lantern lights that she was hoping to see, and there you go. That is the super abbreviated version of the movie Tangled, without any conflict. Uh, you know, good conflict, but, you know, for the most part, no drama. And, you know, you don't want to get the kids all worked up before bedtime. This is essentially, if you're not a good storyteller, <laughs> this is your chance, and, and your kids want to have uh, screen time before bed, and they're like three or four or whatever they are, uh, here's your compromise. They can watch one of these episodes and maybe they'll fall asleep in front of the TV and you can just carry them to bed and put them away and have your adult time after that. That's pretty much what this is for. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, God, I, I, from the looks here, like there's two kids here. I didn't see any kids um, in the episodes I watched. I imagine there's, four, I mean, there's four seasons, about 50 or so episodes so far. And uh, in Australia, I did a little research. Uh, Australia, uh, apparently at 7, 10 p.m. Uh, every night, there's a new episode when there's a new season out. And the seasons run between like 10 and 15 or 16 episodes a season. So yeah, adds up to about 50. Um, but yeah, you can find this stuff from Winnie the Pooh, 101 Dalmatians, Cars, uh, Incre The Incredibles. Uh, even, so even Pixar stuff is included here as well. So it, it grabs pretty much everything. It doesn't have Marvel or Star Wars, I could tell. Uh, but yeah, maybe I missed those. I may have gone too quickly. But yeah, no, it's it's got a, a bunch of cute little stories that uh, belong to the Disney of Europe. So, yeah, if, if you got little ones, this might be, and you're, you're bad at storytelling, this lady's great, so let her do it for you. It's, it, it she, and it, again, she's just, she's not just standing there with a book going, here is this, and this is the story of that. She's, she's a very expressive, there's all sorts of animations behind her, or she's around, it's like a green screen kind of thing. Uh, so they, they really pump it up and shoot her from all different angles, and every once in a while they, you know, they uh, pan over the page of the book so you can see that they don't really spend any time animating. It's just, you know, still images of the pages so you can see Anna and Elsa and Olaf. You can see them as they're on their adventure and and then you see the words from the page. So it it's, you know, it comes together. It's might be a cute little fun story time for the kids. Give it a shot. I don't know. But hey, you know what? Here's a story. Let's pick tomorrow's episode. 527. Oh, we're still into this. 527. Oh. Okay. I don't know what this is. It's a movie. and At least it says it's a movie. Hopefully they don't lie to me again. Uh, it's a movie. Probably a sports movie. But uh, 
the game plan. The game plan. Or, you know, it could be one of those Disney, just Disney Channel movies that has a teenager who has to overcome some sort of teenage thing. Or junior high kids. They're usually not teenagers, like junior high kids. The kind that fifth graders look up to. So, and they're usually smarter than all the adults. So the game plan is what we're watching tomorrow on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow.